Hi, welcome to Bubby's Reading Circle. I hope you enjoy our book today. Make sure you look us up on the web for more books. Oh, hello, Danny. Would you like to read a book? This is for all the grandbabies when we can't be there to read to you in person. We love you. Farmer Dale's Red Pickup Truck by Lisa Wheeler, illustrated by Ivan Bates. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck hauled a load of hay. A bossy cow with eyes of brown was standing in the way. How about a ride, asked bossy cow. Hop in, said Farmer Dale. Move over, ordered bossy cow. There's no room for my tail. The truck bounced up, the truck bounced down. It spit and sputtered towards the town. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck was chugging right along. A woolly sheep came strolling by, bleeding out a song. Room for more, sang woolly sheep. Fit me in somehow? No problem, answered Farmer Dale. Move over, uttered cow. The truck bounced and up and shimmied. It coughed and wheezed back down. The pickup spit a cloud of smoke and sputtered towards the town. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck hit a rocky bump. It swerved beside a Raleigh pig skating past the dump. Oh my stars, squealed Raleigh pig. You folks knocked me down. So sorry, Dale apologized. Need a ride to town? I do indeed, said Raleigh pig. My stakes are broken now. Climb aboard, sang Woolly Sheep. Move over, ordered Cow. The truck bounced up and groaned back down and hiccuped twice and chugged towards town. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck slowly rattled on. A goat with an accordion stood gazing on the lawn. Can I squeeze in, asked Nanny Goat. My pleasure, Farmer said. Bad idea, sang Woolly Sheep. The engine's almost dead. No room, lamented Raleigh Pig. We're overcrowded now. We'll make some room, said Farmer Dale. Move over, bossed the cow. The truck bounced up. The springs all popped. The bumper bumped. The pickup stopped. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck stood stranded in the road. It seems you have a problem, a cocky rooster crowed. We do, admitted Farmer Dale. The problem is we're stuck. The weight of all these animals is too much for my truck. Rooster eyed the animals, you're such a cozy group. I hate to cluck like mother hen, but who will fly the coop? I just squeezed in, said Nanny Goat. I'm faint, squealed Raleigh Pig. I won't move, said Bossy Cow. I'm boss of this red rig. Too bad for you, said Woolly Sheep. The biggest has to go. Settle down, said Farmer Dale. I let's think now, nice and slow. I'll get out, said the farmer said, and push us from the rear. Good idea, said Nanny Goat. Cow replied, I'll steer. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck didn't budge at all. Dale pushed until his face was red, and then he heard a call. Can I butt in, asked Nanny Goat. I'd like to lend a hoof. Rooster squawked, I'll point the way, then roosted on the roof. I'll pitch in, sang Woolly Sheep. I'll ram it with my head. Don't hog the fun, said Raleigh Pig. Let's all help out instead. The pickup rocked and rumbled. It rolled in an inch or so. It's moving, shouted Bossy Cow. The rooster crowed too slow. Turn the key, said Farmer Dale. I can't, the cow replied. She's got no hands, explained the sheep. Farmer Dale just sighed. You should steer, said Bossy Cow. We'll move this heap along. The beasts all pushed together and sang a working song. The pickup bounced and shimmered. It groaned and squeaked and wheezed. A spit a thankful cloud of smoke and started with a sneeze. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck rumbled into town. 
hauling goat and pig and sheep and cow with eyes of brown. Rooster roosting on the hood, cried cockadoodle cluck. Hip hooray, a farmer Dale and his red pickup truck. Yay, that ends. Come join us again tomorrow for another story from Bubby's Barnyard. Join us on the web for more books anytime.